Thanks, guys. The White Sox were trying to get a win after losing five of their last six games. Bottom of the fourth, one on, nobody out. Sox trailing two to nothing. Paul Canerco facing Francisco Liriano. Canerco hammers the 2-2 pitch into the left field seats to tie the game at two all. It's Canerco's sixth of the season and his second in his many games. Chris Carpenter back from the DL on the mound to take on the Cubs. Bottom of the fourth, scoreless runner on third, one out with the Cubs infield drawn in. Chris Duncan singles past the diving Bobby Scales. It scores Albert Pujols, Cardinals led 1-0. Let's take a look at what we'll be watching on Comcast Sportsnet tonight. We have CTL at 5.30, 7 o'clock, tune in to the Cubs at the Cards. 10 o'clock is sports night, and you guys can't forget about that Monsters Encore at 11 o'clock. Oh, my friend, it's Come awful on. I hope to see it someday. <laughs> <laughs> That's a look at your little guy's sports update. I'm Derek Gates. Back to you, Mike and Dan. Uh, what is it about those, uh, those kinds of events that really grabs your imagination? Because I, I see a lot of young people gravitating towards like ultimate fighting yeah well you know it's just it's just it's just fighting i mean people in general they for some reason they like to see guys get knocked out mm -hmm. and and, and I, you gotta I, enjoy that yeah, huh? i you know what i do <laughs> now let's now let's say who do you think would win in a boxing match would you say muhammad ali in his prime or mm -hmm. mike tyson in his prime who would you have to take that's a great question i think that you would have to go with muhammad ali and why is that? Uh, well, because I think, you know, I think Muhammad Ali, he kind of, he, he definitely had the height advantage, there's mm -hmm. no question. But six I think foot if, two, six foot three. Yeah, and, and Tyson was, what, maybe like five, 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 ten, ten five, maybe, eleven. Five, eleven, yeah. But I think he, if Tyson could have got inside in him and busted him up in the body a little and bit. And he I was think. vicious. But, you know, with the, well, how, do you, how do you feel about your, uh, your first, uh, this, you know, this your, is awesome. your maiden run Yeah, here. this is awesome. I, I was working the camera over there, and Mike's like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm working the camera, and, uh. And then he's just like, you know what? Why don't you come? Why don't you sit up there with uh, with Dan? And I'm like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the show. I'm Derek Gates. I'm here on the Monster Set, and I'm pleased to be joined by former Chicago Bear and current Bears analyst Dan Jiggs. Dan, how you doing? Real good, thanks, Derek. Good. Okay. And then now shifting over to the defensive side, the Bears were ranked fifth against the run last year. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not too concerned there, but the the real concern is with their pass defense. They were ranked 30th against the pass. Well, you know, and, 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 unless... Now, what, what do you think they're going to do about their safety position? Because they no longer have Mike Brown. Right. Are they going to rely on, you know, I, I believe Corey Graham is moving over to the and, safety position. Yeah, and, and if all... If Hi, welcome back to the show. I'm Derek Gates. I'm on the Monster set, and I'm now pleased to be joined by Mr. Baseball himself. That's what they call me. Mike North. What Mike, up, what Derek? what is happening? What's going on, buddy? Not much. Uh, not so good for the Sox. They've lost eight of their last ten games... They're six and a half games out of first, and they're betting only 250 as a team. Now, should Sox fans be a little worried? Now, who's the guy right now, if Kenny Williams wanted to maybe make a move, who's the guy right now on the Sox that they would get most in return for? Uh, now, if you're Kenny Williams right now, do you start to maybe look at some possible moves, or do you kind of wait it out and see if the Sox can maybe make a turnaround? Well, I think he well Dan, thanks so much for, uh, for joining me. All right, thanks. All right, have a good one. Okay. Mike, thanks so much for joining me. My man. Thanks. All right, buddy. We'll be back after this.